Trigonometric identity, communication question. What is the difference between trigonometric identity and trigonometry equation? Provide example. Now before we really get into trigonometric identities, let's try to understand this part, which is most important. Now if I write sin x equals to cos x, then we have equal to sine and we've got something on the left side and something on the right side. So that forms an equation. Now this equation sine x equals to cos x could be true for some values. Now if you look at it, you will see that well sine x is equal to cos x for the angle 45 degrees. Now, let me draw a line like this, x equals to y. Now if I draw a line where x value and the y values are same, then sin x is equal to cos x, right? So if I have a line which is y equals to x, right, then any coordinate on this point will be x, y, and if y equals to x, then these two sides will be equal, correct? Now sin x is opposite over hypotenuse and cos x is adjacent over hypotenuse. For them to be equal, these two sides should be equal. That means any point on the line should actually be like x, x, right? Now, so y equals to x is a line on which every point will give you sin x equals to cos x. Now as far as the angle x is concerned, we will find out that that makes an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal. Correct? So, x could be equal to 45 degrees if we consider the primary angle, then x could be equal to 45 degrees, which is in coordinate 1, or 180 plus 45 degrees. So the two answers for which sin x equals to cos x is true is when x equals to 45 or when x equals to 180 plus 45, which gives us 225 degrees. Okay. Now, if x equals to cos of 45 degrees, then sine x is equals to cos x and the value is 1 over square root 2. Right. So in this case, when it is 45 degrees, then sine x is equals to cos x and their value is 1 over square root 2. But if x is 225 degrees, that means x is in quadrant four, 3, then in that case, sine x is equals to cos x and the value is minus 1 over square root 2. So if we say that x is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 360 degrees, then in this domain of x, sine x is equal to cos x for two angles one is 45 degrees and the other one is 225 degrees. Now, I could have solved this in a different way also. For example, to solve this equation, I could have done sine x divided by cos x is equal to 1, which is tan x equals to 1, right? And now tan x is equal to 1 in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3 when x equals to when acute angle x is 45 degrees right so we get the two answers which are x is equals to 45 degrees or x is equals to 225 degrees okay now you know you know what is a cast rule right so from the cost rule, we know C, A, S, T. Tan is positive here and here. That means quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3, right? 
So n it is 1 when opposite and adjacent sides are equal, which happens when angle x is 45 degrees or principal angle is 225 degrees. So we see that this equation is true only for two values. So equations normally could be true for one value, two value, and like that, you know. Uh, so those are the restrictions on equations. They are true only for a few values. But when we say trigonometric identity, then we are saying that the equation is true for all values in the domain. And what we can write here as one of the trigonometric identities as if I write tan x equals to sin x over cos x, then this becomes a trigonometric identity. Tan x is equal to sin x over cos x over the entire domain. The only restriction here is that cos x should not be equal to 0 because then this function is not defined. Okay? So that becomes an identity. So identity is something which is equal or the equation when is equal for all values in the entire domain, then we call it an identity. So identities are also equations, but they are special equations in the sense that they are always true. Correct? So that is trigonometric identities. As you also did like cos square x plus sine square x is equal to 1. This is a trigonometrical identity, right? And we call them as Pythagorean identity. For any value of x, this equation will always be true. Therefore, this is an identity. It is also an equation, correct? So any equation which is true for all values in its domain is called an identity. So that is how we will look into identity and equation, okay? So identities are also equations, right? But they are special in a way that equations are true for limited values, whereas identities could be true, are true for infinite number of values, all values in its domain, I should say. Okay? So that is the difference. And these two examples very clearly show you what is an identity. Tan x equals to sin x over cos x is an identity but sin x equals to cos x is just an equation. It's not an identity. To prove that equation is not an identity, we can take any, even if we take one point, let's say if I write x equals to 0 degrees, right? Then we say sin of 0 is 0, but cos of 0 is 1. It is not true. Therefore, it is not an identity. So that is how we can show that given equation is not an identity. Okay? Thank you.